Today, I will show you how to use the column layout and form elements. These elements are invaluable when you are adding a new segment to a page or beginning a page from the ground up. If you are curious about an ideal starting point when constructing your pages, consider this your introduction. Generally, the construction of a web page initiates with a section. Let's demonstrate this by adding a section right here. Once a fresh section is in place, we can proceed by incorporating rows. Within these rows we can add a layout element, for example, a three-column layout. Following this, we can commence adding specific elements that we want to appear on the page within this layout, such as an image, a video, and an audio file. Remember that each element's placement and the space between them are fully customizable. You can effortlessly transfer an element from one location to another, even between rows. This is achieved simply by dragging and dropping elements to your preferred spots. Next, we'll go through the form element. System provides you with the capacity to seamlessly create forms on any page. However, it's essential to understand that for a form to function properly, it must contain at least these two components, a form input element and a button. For instance, here, we have an input form designed to collect the visitor's email address and a button to store information obtained from the form. To ensure a successfully completed subscription, the button's action must be set to send form. While we do offer other actions for our buttons, if a form includes form inputs, the action must always be set to send form in order to store contact information effectively. We're not limited to asking only for email addresses. We can introduce additional form inputs to request more detailed information. For instance, we can incorporate a second form input here and select the first name type. This prompts page visitors to provide their first names along with their email for subscription purposes. This way, we can collect more specific data about our web page guests. Another handy element that one might contemplate incorporating into forms is the checkbox. This feature ensures that your subscribers give their consent to receive emails. When a checkbox is added, subscribers must select it to successfully send the form. Take care to make it stand out so you don't miss any potential subscriptions. Stay tuned for part 3, Countdown and Menu Elements. <laughs>